Hey, this is Brad. Uh, today I'm talking about high-speed tapping in the metal. And I've had lots of talks with my friends and uh, co-workers, and uh, a lot of them say, no, you cannot use a drill to successfully tap metal. And um, I've got an example today. We're going to be tapping six holes in about 0.2 inch aluminum. You can go a lot thicker than this, quarter inch or even more, if you use this technique. One thing to remember is that this technique can be used with aluminum, but hard steel is a different story. So keep in mind that aluminum is a lot softer than regular steel. So this technique is uh, less risky with, with aluminum. Although it could still be done with steel with your clutches set carefully enough. So the key is to have a drill that's reversible. You can go forward and backwards by changing a switch on the drill. And the drill has to have a clutch. This saves your tap from being busted off. You don't want that. Once the tap is busted off in your hole, sometimes you gotta just throw the metal away. It's just a pain to get out. So you set your clutch setting at a very light setting so that you can just barely hold it with your hand like that. You can adjust this clutch on this uh, Black & Decker D08 model just by uh, turning this collar right here. We're going to be tapping with a 632 tap. And when you buy your tap, a lot of times it comes with a drill. But if you don't have the drill, you don't know what size to use with the tap, you can actually look it up on the internet. Just find a chart and uh, you can look up the, the screw size you're going to tap. And you can also um, find the diameter right there of the drill you're going to use. So it's pretty straightforward. All right, so we're going to secure the uh, blade here in this, this uh, clamp. And nice and strong. Okay, set our direction to uh, stay in clockwise. Make sure the threads are clean, wipe them off. These uh, threads have to be very clean. And right now, just got a brush here, just like that. Okay, first hole. Uh, it's good to have a little bit of oil, so dip it in the oil. First hole right here. Okay, starting my my stopwatch right here. Okay, clock is running. First part of it, get to here, back out, clean off the tilling. Now you go through this one, wipe off. Stop right there. Don't even use the clutch all the time. Clean off. Clean it. Going backwards and forwards on the switch here. Forward. That one's done. Okay, time is one minute, twenty seconds. That's what's stopping uh, stopping to talk a little bit there. All right.